Hey guys, so welcome back. I am on my way to the water uh, for my maiden voyage on my Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL. Like I said in the last video, I am super excited about getting this thing out on the water. And so uh, I'm going to a close spot. If I catch fish today, that is a bonus. I am mainly going out here to figure this kayak out, um, learn about it, see how it performs, and um, you know, just get a feel for it. Hang tight guys, and sit back and enjoy this video. All right guys, I've got her loaded up, heading down to the water. It's kind of rocky and bumpy right here, but it'll make it. All right guys, so initial thoughts. Um, this is definitely lighter than my native Slayer. Way lighter. Um, maneuvering it around, um, getting it in and out of the truck. So this is very nice. The other thing I noticed, there is a ton of room up front here. I mean, I did not have this in, in the native. Also, you see there's no water in here whatsoever. So I like that as well. Um, yeah, we'll talk more about that later on, but yeah, no water in here. <laughs> I love that. The other thing I noticed right off the bat, this thing turns on a dime. I mean, the radius of this turn is ridiculous right now. It is, it is nice. It's a, a little bit more stable because it's a little bit wider than the native. The native is, the Slayer Max is 34 inches wide. This is 36 inches wide. So that two inches does make a difference, but it's just the way it's made, it's a little bit different. Now I will tell you that the native Slayer, uh, I'm noticing already, the pedal drive is a little bit smoother. Um, this I can feel the, the clicks as I'm maneuvering. Um, it's responding really quickly and really well, but the native to me um, was a little bit smoother. So we're gonna go ahead and start pedaling around. Uh, we may even cast net from this because I've cast netted from my um, native before and it was, wasn't too bad. We're gonna see if we can cast net from this one and see how it is as well. So the other thing I noticed is that <laughs> Everything on this is backwards. So my fish finder was over on my right before. My front facing rod holder was also on my right. So now I'm gonna have to get used to that. One of the reasons why this turns a little bit tighter is because this has a, a vertical um, rudder. And so when the rudder drops down like that and is vertical, it turns a little bit uh, smoother, a little bit faster. And so when it's a horizontal one, like my, the one that was on my native, it's not gonna turn as fast. Let me see if this works. Huh, laying rods down there like that does work. Interesting. Check and make sure nobody's coming. We're gonna go over here. Let me see how easy it is to stand on. Oh my gosh, this is nice. This is so nice.
this is in my opinion quite a bit more stable than my than my slayer came and got it oh my gosh I don't know what that was it was like a little snook I guess came up and swiped at it no that wrapped a couple times I saw that all right let's toss this out and let's see what happens let's go ride for a little bit definitely harder to pedal it is a lot easier to pedal the um, the native I can see that I feel it in my legs um, the amount of pressure that I have to, to exert to be able to you know get propulsion it's definitely different That was a bike. Mm. <laughs> okay, the first fish I catch is a stupid lady fish. <laughs> oh man, that is too funny. Uh, well. I broke in my kayak with a ladyfish. And there's his eye. If you guys see a one-eyed ladyfish, that was me. Well, I didn't get skunked. Or is that considered a skunk? I don't know. I don't know if that's considered a skunk or not. I'm just going to keep heading straight out this way. See if I can find some grass and find a trout or two. I named all those fish earlier. I forgot all about ladyfish. I guess. They were like, you're going to recognize me. You're going to recognize me. I'm not really seeing much. Ooh. There we go. That's a fish. Oh, that's not a small fish either. What is this? What is it? What is it? Stupid catfish. Told you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. A jack, I mean a, a ladyfish and a catfish. Get out of here. Ugh. Stupid catfish. Oh man. <laughs> so I was getting things together and I thought about the scripture, which is Ephesians 6, 3, 2 and 3. And it says, um, honor your father and mother, which is the first promise. That way your days may be long. And so 
I started thinking about my dad. So when this video drops, it'll be Father's Day. And so I was really thinking about my dad and all this fishing that I've been doing all started with him. Uh, he would take me out, go fishing. Remember, we would go cat fishing, we would go bass fishing. And so, Dad, I just appreciate uh, you taking the time to show me how to fish, what the love of the sport was about. Um, and so I just really appreciate all that you did for me uh, growing up, you know, just showing me how to be a man. Like I said, I was just thinking about that. And so I wanted to share that scripture with you guys because I just want to honor my dad. You know, he was, he's a great man, uh, you know, still kicking. So he watches all my videos and I just appreciate it. So dad, love you. Hope you have a great day today. Happy Father's Day. Little check in guys, as far as fishing, not that great. Uh, caught a ladyfish and a catfish so far. I'm not done, I'm gonna start heading back. My whole thing today was really to get out here and see about this kayak, you know, the new kayak. Um, I'm enjoying it, oh my gosh, am I enjoying it so much. Look forward to a comparison between the Native Slayer and uh, the Old Town Sportsman 120. Um, there's some things I like and dislike about both of them. And so, you know, one has some strengths that I like where the other one is weak and vice versa. So uh, I'll discuss those in the video, but um, I'm going to keep fishing for a little bit and let's see if we can come away with uh, something else before we get back uh, to the launch. This is the other thing I like about this. The native... Well, I'll say this, this rudder, if you just put it straight, it'll just track straight. The native, it will turn on you because it's underneath and it's horizontal with the, so if the waves are pushing this way, the rudder is going to turn that way and it's going to turn your kayak and you have to content, continually adjust it. With this thing, I can just put it in here and just keep tracking straight. So I can really go hands-free now and just fish. I'm gonna start heading towards the bridge. See, look at that. I turn a little bit. Now that I'm going straight to the bridge, I just put this thing straight and let's see how straight I can go. It's gone off a little bit, it's blown off. For the most part, it's straight though. Thank you guys for riding along with me in my maiden voyage on my Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL. That thing is sweet. I absolutely love it. Um, and so I didn't catch many fish, but like I said, that would have been a bonus. Um, just because my whole plan was just to get the feel for the kayak. So I absolutely enjoy this thing. Uh, I'm ready to get out and rig it out a little bit. And so I want you guys to come along with me with that journey. So as I start equipping my kayak, this, this old town, uh, kind of like the way I did my um, native Slayer, you guys will be able to see you know, how it turns out. I'll just take you guys along for the ride. So that way you can see um, how this kayak manifests into what I really want it to be. Uh, because now I've been fishing you know, four years saltwater in kayaks. And so this is my third kayak. Uh, first one was a Pelican. The HD was the first one that came out with a pedal drive. Uh, it was the fin drive, kind of like the Hobie, um, no reverse. So I moved up then to the Native Slayer. I had that for about two years and I really enjoyed it. I think I'm settled. Um, 
time will only tell but i really like this thing and once again my wife and i have the same kayak so guys i really appreciate you guys hanging with me through this video um if you did like it do me a favor hit that thumbs up button if you've never subscribed do me a favor as well go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you're notified with all the videos that i drop and then also share my channel so others can see the type of content i'm putting out all right guys till next time remember god loves you god bless you may keep you peace